Spanish version. And they felt that because it was offered so many times, it would be easier for their, the offenders to attend, um, it would help reduce their caseload, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And basically what they're doing is they're looking at quantity over quality. And now, I would like to bring up, where's Nancy, where'd she go? Nancy Greiner, would you come up please? Nancy is, um, is one of our victim speakers. And she was the first to attend or to sit in on that New Beginnings. Come up here, Nancy. And if you would just share with everyone what your experience was and how you actually ended up going over there. Sam, do you mind staying closer? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Um, I was critically injured um, by a DUI driver about six years ago. I was trying to look for a way to maybe give back and help other victims of um, DUI accidents. So I had called um, MAD and all they seemed to want was my money and a donation. So instead of looking at a national organization, I looked closer at what we had locally. The two that I found on the website were Stop DUI and New Beginnings. So I called each one and made appointments with their respective um, company heads, Sandy Heavily with Stop DUI and Gail Anderson with New Beginnings to go in and see what these programs offered um, to victims and to see what part I could play in that. I went to see um, the, new, uh, the Stop DUI uh, program first and I was so surprised at the professionalism, the, the care, the concern that Stop DUI had for the victims and the quality and level of the programs they were putting on. It was just, um, it, it was just something that for a, for a local city, I was just really, really impressed with. In order to get both sides, I went to see New Beginnings and met with Gail Anderson and sat in with her program and spoke to her. It was like night and day. The, um, there was only one victim speaking Everything that was given to the offenders there was read verbatim off a slide presentation. And it was more like a tutorial or a schoolroom rather than victims giving their um, stories on what the accident had done to them and or to their families. Afterwards, I met with um, Gail Anderson, as I did with Sandy, and asked um, a little bit more um, in-depth questions on the program, uh, what it supports as far as the victims, because that was my main concern. Sandy has explained to you exactly what Stop DUI offers to the victims, which I think is so important. And Gail Anderson informed me that they do not have any program to assist victims of DUI accidents or their families, and they have no intentions of doing so. Upon hearing that, my decision uh, was one to go with Stop DUI because I really didn't think there, there was any reason to consider what my decision was and which company to go with. And I am so proud to be associated with Stop DUI and be able to help people and families and victims who have been involved in um, accidents of this sort. And I only wish that when I was laying in the hospital after the accident that I was involved in, that there was an organization such as Stop DUI that would have come to me. And not only the head of the organization, but people like we have at Stop DUI and families of, of the victims to explain to me emotionally <coughs> what I was going through and what type of help they could provide <coughs> for me. So I, I believe that what the work that Stop DUI is doing is invaluable. And um, I really take offense at another company um, using victims um, and their stories as a cash cow for their company. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to bring 
up now Arcadia Bolonas. Arcadia, would you please join me? The three uh, programs that are presented are the three English ones, and then of course the fourth one that they present is done in Spanish. And Arcadia, if you would share with them what you had tried to accomplish and your reason for that. Right. Well, um, again, we are morning we are sorry. Thanks for being here. Uh, such an important part. Um, I've been and Wong and I, we are the owners and directors of the Academy of Human Development. We also part of the core system because we provide DUI classes and we face the same challenges. Uh, the core, it says, in using particular programs, we license and we are uh, the only older agency that can do this licensing by the state, bilingual. Um, two years ago, we were part of the family of Stop DUI and we are very proud and honored and we have the responsibility. Um, I'm part of the victim of the impact panel in Spanish. And when this situation arises with this nonsense program, and I wanna be clear, New Beginnings is a nonsense program. Uh, they, uh, I approached it, and I wanna see how they approach the cultural, the diversity, and the feelings of victims like myself for the El Nido immigrants that we don't understand the language, we don't understand um, the different situations of the system. Um, I spoke to Gail Anderson's office and I asked for a meeting with her to see if there was something that we can create, we can collaborate, or I can uh, testify and see if the program needed improvement or it was good. I would prefer people, I would participate. Um, that was close to three months ago and they were never ever, not even, um, allow us or let us communicate with them. They did not respond. We are still waiting for the response of this organization to allow us to go and see their program. And my culture, when you don't, when you close your doors, it's because something is not right, and then you don't see or you don't want people to see it. And that's my only concern right there, because I have no idea what they offer to the cultural diversity Latino community which we are growing, and as uh, the Stop DUI, they have to find the perfect individuals to provide the guidance to the offenders and the victims and the uh, DUI program. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Arcadia. <clears throat> On July 24th, myself and Senator Mark Menendo accompanied by eight other DUI victim speakers, went over to New Beginnings. Uh, we certainly were not welcomed in a, we didn't, we didn't receive a warm welcome, let me put it that way. Um, and I don't believe if we did not have Senator Menendo with us, we probably wouldn't have been allowed to watch the program, the so-called program. But I'd like to bring Senator Menendo up now. Mark, if you wouldn't mind, you come up. Uh, Mark has some very interesting observations share with you. Well, first of all, let me just say thank you very much to everybody uh, for coming out today. We really do appreciate it. We also appreciate uh, the folks from our, our media uh, for being here to help us uh, spread the word. You know, this has really been uh, a tough week on our community uh, with, with the floods, the damage, the, it, a lot of it is in my district. Homes. I've seen the destruction. We've had a loss of life. Of course, then with this uh, tragic crash that happened senselessly the other day, four people dead, numerous people clinging to life. You know, folks, it really has to stop. There's so many issues going on in our community right now, dealing with uh, our roads, our pedestrians, people taking matters into their own hands to end other people's lives senselessly. Um, and then on top of it, I, I had a dear friend of mine pass away yesterday morning. So it's uh, been, a, been a tough tough time. But you know, this is my fourth decade in this, uh, working on my fourth decade in this valley. I love Las Vegas. Um, I met Sandy Heverly, and uh, actually I was a part of MAD, 20 some years ago before we broke away because you know those folks all they and I, I visited their corporate headquarters to 
them, it was all about the money. It was all about making sure that our money from uh, solicitations on the phone would go to their corporate headquarters. And we went and we asked, what are you doing to help our victims and, and our community? And the answer is really nothing. I mean, just to have printed materials, we had to come out of our own pocket for that. Uh, that was wrong, and we wanted to break away. We wanted a, 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 an organization that cared about the people and victims here, and we wanted to make sure that we were able to, to serve families and help them and educate our community. So as a member of the Nevada legislature, I was involved in uh, helping uh, with the victim impact panel legislation. I was asked by numerous victims to, uh, to go and attend the New Beginnings, um, I, I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, it, it just, so, it, you know, as somebody who's attended the Stop UI Victim Impact Panel many times, and as an elected official or just a member of the, uh, of the media or just a citizen, uh, we welcome people to come in and see what's going on and see how the Victim Impact Panel changes lives and successfully. And when, when we went to the New Beginnings, as Sandy mentioned, they did not want us to even come in. We were questioned. I mean, we had everything but a pat down, to be honest with you. And I just couldn't understand that. Uh, here it is, is the, you know, this organization that I never really heard of, um, you know, questioning why we were there. I, I felt like we were being interrogated. Who are you? What are you doing here? And, uh, you know, I'm, we're so used to, and I have actually had colleagues come to our Stop DUI Victim Impact Panel. I've had friends and family members come and attend. It's, it's always very open. What's the big secret? So when we went in and, you know, there was absolutely no oversight. I mean, personally, I, uh, I could smell people that came in that reeked of alcohol. Uh, people were listening to their, um, I was going to say Walkman, and then I date myself with their, what, what is it? iPod. iPod, iPod, thank you. Their iPod or whatever it is with their music. And they're doodling and writing, and you know, they're not paying attention. There was absolutely no law enforcement uh, present. You know, NHTSA has some very um, strict standards in place, and those are that, you know, it has to be a panel of uh, at least three people. And like Stop DUIs does. And, and we had one person who just got out of a mental institution uh, and, and who was a victim, who we actually know. Uh, but Gail Anderson sat there and read to us for an hour how wonder people were falling asleep. Instead of really paying attention to what was going on, they were falling asleep and doodling to keep awake. I, I, I was just, I'm so offended that the community I love and a law that we've worked so hard to put into place would be just, you know, just torn apart by judges and people who are looking to just, I, I don't know if it's just fill their own pockets, I don't know. I know what Stop UI does to help our community because I had a friend of mine who I went to high school with who her husband was run down coming home from work and killed at Desert and in Sand Hill. Tragically murdered. And Stop DUI was there to help her and her family. That's what Stop DUI does. It's important that we continue these, we can't continue to help innocent victims and continue to educate and do as much as we can publicly to bring awareness to this senseless crime. 